In the previous video, I mentioned that Vasilisk, a bio-quantum computer based on the Basilisk virus, was developed by two ex-umbrella scientists in an unspecified year of the future. Going over some old notes and translations of the game I had, I want to both expand on this subject and make some corrections to a few tidbits of information. The two ex-umbrella scientists are named specifically as Alex and Brian. Now, as far as I know in the canonical series of Resident Evil, or Biohazard, there's no one we know named Brian that was an ex-scientist. This Alex, however, could very well be the 12th Wesker child, who we know was heavily involved in the history of Umbrella. Since both the gender of the scientist and the exact time frame is not given, it's not out of the realm of possibility to be Alex Wesker. If that's the case, that changes the year of development before Resident Evil 6 happened, and means the Vasilis system could be tied to the canonical games in the series. If you keep in mind, this game was both created and made available before the release of Resident Evil Revelations 2, where Alex Wesker is a primary figure in the story. The game ended in the summer of 2015, but directly apparent elements of Revelations 2 were not implemented into the game, such as characters, locations, and enemies, before the time in between Revelation 2's release and the end of Biohazard Clan Master, so I initially thought there was no trace of its story to be found in the mobile game. But when I started playing Revelation 2's specifically designed raid mode, I grew very suspect. The setup for this mode was a multitude of combat simulations generated by the Red Queen Alpha. Enemies and locations were based on outbreaks of the past. And actually it was mostly Resident Evil 6 maps and a few uninteresting Revelations 2 maps, which I thought was incredibly lazy of the development team, but that's not the point of this. And how interesting that is, considering I'd been playing a mobile game based around a very similar system developed by someone named Alex that had a history with Umbrella. So here's a few questions I have. Did Alex collaborate with another scientist to further push the capabilities of the Red Queen? Perhaps even create a more advanced system entirely based on the data acquired by the AI? And did Brian outlive Alex and put the finishing touches on the system itself, such as incorporating the Basilisk virus? I suppose we'll have to wait and find out the state of the Red Queen Alpha in the future of the series, and if it has any relation to Vasilisk. Without having played Umbrella Course myself, I'm unaware if any combat simulators in likeness to these two systems have been used by the various mercenary and pharmaceutical groups present in the game. In Biohazard Clan Master, two major agencies, those of the Vasilisk Corps, and its rival Zane both use and contest the capabilities of the Vasilis system. Vasilis seems to be capable of simulations on a very large scale, and if it can easily manipulate and influence the consciousness of humans in its grasp, who knows what sort of danger it could cause if it's expanded globally. Now, should we consider Vasilisk as the intended result of the Red Queen's development, then all the world could become the literal playground for someone's continued experimentation. Oh, that's right. Alex Wesker isn't truly dead now, is she? Considering nothing goes wrong as she slowly takes over her new body, she's got many more years to enact whatever intentions she has for the world. And if it's to turn the world into her personal ad farm, well, I bet even Alexia Ashford would be proud. But who knows? It's just one of many theories after all. <laughs>